Now this question has been sent to me by a student uh, and the question reads a trapezium is inscribed in a semicircle of radius 4 cm. So the radius is 4 cm and this is a trapezium. So these are the opposite sides of a trapezium which are parallel. So let's take say this is the center. So this is the center of the circle. So this is the center. So let's say this is center A. Say this is A, B, C, D. Let's name the sides as A, B, C, D. Where A, B is parallel to C, D. Okay. So now if, if the radius is, if the radius is, say, 4 centimeters, the diameter, so D, C is going to be 8 centimeters. Okay. So diameter is 8 centimeters. And we want to find the maximum area of this trapezium. So basically what's happening going to happen, this is going to be the same. If you keep moving AB, the area you can understand is going to uh, change. So we want to find what's the length of basically AB, which gives the maximum area of this trapezium. That's basically the question. So let's say that is X. If that is X, and let's drop a height, so but this is the height of the trapezium, this is h, so this would also be h. So area of a trapezium is basically base times height. And here the only difference is, this is not a rectangle, it's a trapezium, so it has two bases, so it's the average of the base, so it is x plus 8 divided by 2 times height. Now, whenever you have a question of, diff, uh, of maximization or minimization, you have to write this equation in terms of x or h. So now the question is whether we can write h in terms of x or x in terms of h. Is there a relation between x and h? So well, for that, let me join this and this. Okay. So let me use a different color. So can you understand that this OA is a radius, so that's going to be 4. And if AB is, if AB is X, and so let's call this is M, and this is also, this is N. So both of them are right angle. So if AB is X, MN is also going to be X and O is the center, so I hope you understand this is going to be x over 2, half of x over 2, half of x, which is x over 2. This is also x over 2. So now using Pythagoras, I can say h squared, finding the shorter side, is 16 minus x squared over 4. Okay, and simplifying this, I hope you understand this is 64 minus x squared divided by 4. And this is the main step. So hypotenuse as a function of h is square root of 64 minus x squared. You can pause this video and try to do the rest if you can, divided by 2. So hypotenuse, sorry, not hypotenuse, h, the height of the trapezium, in terms of x is square root of 64 minus x squared divided by 2. So basically, I've taken square root of both sides. So now, so this, this we can say, now we can say, therefore, area changes to x plus 8 divided by 2 times your h, which is square root of 64 minus x squared divided by 2. And just you have to differentiate this. So this is this is a function, and this function, as I told you, as x changes, as x changes from say zero to whatever number, the area is going to change. So let's do a bit of algebra now. So if you can factor the one quarter out, one half times one half is a quarter, times x plus eight times square root of 64 minus x squared. And now you're to differentiate this. So we're going to use the product rule. So a dash x. So a dash would be, I can put the one quarter out. So using the product rule, 
you first differentiate x plus 8. So the derivative of x plus 8 is 1 times the second function, which is square root of x 64 minus x squared plus the first function, which is x plus 8, times the derivative of the second function. So if you're differentiating this, I would I like to write this as 64 minus x squared divided by raised to half. So differentiating the outside, you can differentiate the inside first. So if you differentiate the outside, it is half times 64 minus x squared raised to negative half and then differentiating the inside this is where you should remember not forget to do this step so this is the derivative okay so let me scroll up so a dash is equal to one quarter times so this is square root of 64 minus x squared as it is no change here so this half and this two gets or uh, two and this two gets cancelled so this is minus x times x plus eight and this is raised to negative half is same as dividing by square root of 64 minus x squared okay so you can pause this video and try to finish it off if you can so now you can see let me change color for maximum I'll do the working here for maximum area what is for maximum area a dash has to be 0 so I'm going to set this equal to 0 I can say 1 quarter 1 quarter so let me drag it to this side so I can say 1 quarter times square root of 64 minus x squared minus x times x plus 8 divided by square root of 64 minus x squared is equal to 0. So multiplying both sides by 4, I can say this becomes square root of 64 minus x squared minus x times x plus 8 divided by square root of 64 minus x squared is equal to 0. Okay, so let me drag it to this side. So this implies uh, you can cross multiply. So if you multiply this times this, you're going to get 64 minus x squared. And then expanding with this, this is minus x squared minus 8x divided by 64 minus x squared. I'm trying to mess the whole thing. Okay, I hope you understand. So this is divided by, that is equal to 0. Okay, so I'll finish the working here. So this implies you can multiply both sides by square root of 64 minus x squared. So finally, if you simplify the top, it is minus 2x squared minus 8x plus 64 is equal to 0. Now dividing the whole thing by negative 2, you're getting x squared plus 8x minus 32 is equal to 0. And now, of course, you can put them in brackets. So this is x plus 8 times x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, now what can we do? Setting each of them equal to 0, x is negative 8 or x is 4 but x has to be greater than but x has to be greater than 0 x is the length of the parallel side so which implies x is equal to 4 so when x is 4 you put it back in the equation what is the equation so let's put this back so your final the maximum area would be a is equal to 8 plus 4 oh sorry 4 plus 8 4 plus 8 divided by 2 times so this is square root of 64 square root of 64 minus 16 divided by 2 
So let's do this on a calculator. So this is how much? This is 12 divided by 2. Uh, 12 divided by 4 is 3 times times square root of how much? So let me do my, it on my calculator. So my brain is probably not working now. So 64 minus, I want to find square root of. I hope you understood how I got, got 3. 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 divided by 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Hopefully, so 64 minus 16 equals 48. So this is square root of 48. So this is 3 times, or 3 times square root of 48 is the exact answer. But if you want to write that as a decimal, so 3 times shift square root of 48 equal 20.78. So the final answer is 20.78 in 2dp, 20.78 centimeter squared. Now you can also do this on a calculator just to confirm the answer. If you know the function, if you have written this equation correctly, you can, the calculator will give you the answer. Once you know the answer, so let's do this on a calculator. Go to graph and type in the equation. So this is a quarter. So I'll put 0 0.25 bracket x plus 8. Uh, uh, then shift square root bracket 64 minus x squared close the bracket and I know the area so I, I need to set the values I'll go from 0 to say 10 because I know the value of x is going to be 4 and the value of y I need up to 20 so I'll go from 0 to say 30 scale of one is enough and then draw it. So this is your graph of x versus area. So can you see the area is increasing and there's, this is the maximum point. So you go G sol and maximum. So when x is 4 you get the maximum area of 20.78.